Okay, welcome back, guys. Um, today it's Thursday, right? Thursday, what date? 18, 16, 17? 17. 17, right? So very good, very good. Welcome back, uh, welcome back. And uh, once again, my name is Rene Escamilla. I will try to explain the topics that we've been checking so far, okay? So voy a tratar la manera de, de explicar los temas que hemos estado verificando. All right, so let's uh, start with our favorite part, right? The motivation part. Let's see. All right, let's see. Let me know if you're able to see my screen. Give me one second. Are you able to see my screen now, guys? Yes? Yes. All right, guys. Motivation. Uh, let's repeat. Motivation. Come on, let's go, everybody. Motivation. 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 Very good, very good. One more time. Motivation. 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 Excellent, excellent. All right, so, hey, listen, everybody needs to be motivated. All right, everybody needs to be motivated. And order, give me one second. Everybody needs to be motivated in order to complete the things that you are um, basically doing, right? So, tenemos que estar motivados con todas las cosas que nosotros hacemos, all right? So, tomorrow, what day is tomorrow? Tomorrow is going to be Friday. Friday, right? So, very good. Right. Very good. Excellent, excellent. All right. So, our quote or our motivation uh, message, all right, uh, for tonight would be the next one. Work hard, dream big, never give up. All right. Let me repeat it back to you. Work hard, dream big. Never give up. Okay, let, let's repeat. Work hard. Work hard. Work hard. Work hard. Everybody, come on. Work hard. Work hard. Work hard. Work hard. Dream big. Dream big. Dream big. Never give up. Never give up. Okay, what did that mean? Trabajar, trabajar duro, soñar en grande y nunca rendirse. Okay? So, ¿qué estamos haciendo en este momento? ¿Cuántos trabajamos todo el día ahora? Aparte de estar a esta hora aquí, everybody, everybody works, right? So I believe everybody was working. Excellent. I understand that everybody, I've been working since uh, 6 o'clock a.m. I woke up at 5 and I have another class. Excellent, Ingrid. Excellent, Armando. All right. So, and I have another class and I'm here and I'm happy and I'm working hard. I'm, I'm, my dreams are big. All right, so, and I believe I never, I never give up. I never give up, okay? You guys never give up, you know, because uh, si usted se rinde, es como que no haya hecho nada, okay? Trabaje duro, piensa en grande y nunca se rinda. ¿Y cuál es el sueño grande que tenemos ahorita? Aprender a hablar inglés correctamente, okay? So, excellent, all right, so give me your like, de que es... Se va a poner las pilas, que va a trabajar duro y que tiene sueños grandes y que nunca se va a rendir. Deme like ahí y necesitamos estar motivados. Excelente, Armando, solo Armando. Anybody else? Marisol me, me levantó la mano. Así como, oh, very good, Marisol. Excellent, everybody. I love that. Very good, very good, very good. Very good, all right. So, thank you. So, let's go get back to our classes. Let's see. So let me know if you are able to see this part. Select questions and complete the conversation. Are you able to see that? Pueden ver esta parte, sí? Yeah. Very good. All right, so yes. we we did complete, right, this part yesterday, correct? Yes. All right, so remember that we have this and, all right, we already complete that one. Okay, let's pass to the next exercise. Let's see. And also we complete this one, right? So let's see, a singer, let's repeat, a singer has an excited job. A singer has a singer has an exciting job. I disagree. I think a singer's job is boring. I disagree. Excellent. A fly attended attended has a stressful job. A fly attended has a stressful job. Has a stressful job. All right. I agree. I agree. It is stressful. 
I agree it. it is stressful. I agree it is stressful. All right, very good. Excellent. All right, a cashier job is easy. A cashier job, a cashier job is easy. Okay, excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. All right, let's pass to our next uh, to our next exercises that we have. Let's see. All right, let's repeat lesson adjective. Lesson adjective. Lesson, lesson adjective. Lesson adjective. Lesson. All right, Jenny, please help me with this uh, adjective uh, part, please. Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You will also learn how to express the food that you like and like pyramid. Very good, very good. All right, so if we're not basically quite sure how you, how we need to pronounce uh, this word, we're gonna use what? The translator, right? So let's see, translator. And let's see over here. And let's go, all right? So let's see. Pyramid. 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 All right. Pyramid. So, okay, let's see. Pyramid. All right, Maria, please help me with this, please. Maria. By the end of the class, you will learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You will also learn how to express the food that you like and dislike. All right. Thank you very much. Very good job. Okay. So let's repeat. Bye. 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 The end. Yeah. The end. Yeah. Of this class. Of this, of this class, you will learn, you will learn. learn. Yeah. vocabulary related, vocabulary related, vocabulary related to the food, to the food, pyramid. 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 You will also learn, you will also learn, learn how to express how to express, how to express the food that you like. 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 And, that you like. and dislike. And, and Excellent. All right. Al finalizar esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario relacionado con la pirámide alimenticia. Ustedes también aprenderán cómo expresar, cómo expresar la comida que les gusta y la que no les gusta. All right. Let's go. All right. So what we are going to double check here, it's basically uh, our food pyramid. So what it that means? Es la pirámide de la comida. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo se dice este...? Eh, ¿Cómo le diría? Seleccionados. Seleccionados los alimentos. Gracias. All right. So we need to double check how we need to select our basically food. All right. So um, let's see. And it says like this. En esta clase aprenderán vocabulario relacionado con la pirámide alimenticia. También aprenderán cómo expresar la comida que les gusta y la que no les gusta. Ok. Comencemos escuchando y practicando vocabulario de esta pirámide alimenticia. Escuchando este video, o bien viendo este video, perdón. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream. 
butter, candy, oil, potato chips, meat and other protein, fish, beans, nuts, chicken, eggs, beef, dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, grains, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta, now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give you a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar, I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy and potato chips. The idea here is to practice all the vocabulary. So while you may like all this stuff from this food pyramid, I would like for you to think about your friends, family, and co-workers. And think about their likes and dislikes. Um, for example, my sister likes milk, uh, yogurt, uh, but she doesn't like cheese. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to use all the vocabulary that we learned on this lesson and express likes and dislikes. After you complete this task, Please share your work in our discussion forums. Excellent. Give me one second. Let's see. All right. So, are we clear with when the teacher says like and dislike? You know what that means, guys? Yes. All right. So, cuando nos gusta y cuando no nos gusta, correcto? All right. So, and now let's see. Let me check something over here real quick in our pl platform, all right? Let's see. Just a moment, let me double check something else over here because I want you to, you guys, practice, all right? So as the teacher says, the main idea here is uh, for you to practice, all right? So we need to practice anything that we are checking on our food, uh, pyramid food, right? So let's see, give me one second. It's um, all right. What's your sketches like? And let's see, we already checked this. All right, in the meantime, vamos a ver si carga. Okay, ya cargó. Vamos a ver acá. Me one second. All right, so. In our food pyramid, all right, we are going to double check or we need to know, or we need to be able to select our food, right? So what did that mean? The, sometimes, especially in our country, right? So we don't have, uh, we're not able to eat like the way we're supposed to be eating. No estamos habilitados de comer como deberíamos de comer o de estar comiendo porque lo económico no, no, no nos alcanza, ¿verdad? De, de igual manera, si tuviéramos los recursos, pues, you know, estuviéramos bien fit, all right? So, estuviéramos bien en forma, ¿verdad? O sea, sin ofender a nadie, ¿verdad? Sin ofender a nadie. O sea, yo porque hablo por mi persona, ¿verdad? Que estoy un poco pasado de peso. Tengo, no sé si, bueno, ese es punto y aparte, pero sí estoy pasado de peso a lo que yo debería de pesar. Anyways, all right, so let's repeat. Fat. 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 
oil. 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 Sugar. Sugar. Cream. Cream. Butter. Butter. Candy. Candy. Oil. Oil. Potato chip. Potato chip. Meat and other protein. Okay, uh, fish. fish, fish, beans, 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 chicken, chicken, chicken. Nut. 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 Eggs. Eggs. eggs, eggs, beef, 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 beef. Daddy. Uh -huh. Daddy. 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 Milk. 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 Que oiga, que oiga la K, el ending del final con la K. Milk. 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 No milk, no. Milk. 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 Yogurt. 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 Cheese. 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 Fruit. Bananas. Apples. 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 Orange. Oranges. And strawberries. Strawberries. Mangoes. 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 Apples. 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 Vegetables. 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 All right, broccoli. 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 Carrot. Broccoli. Carrot. Carrot. No carrot. 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 Very good. Very good. Lettuce. Lettuce. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Potatoes. Potatoes. Greens. 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 No greens. 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 Bread. 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 Cereal. 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 Crackers. 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 Rice. 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 Noodles. 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 And pasta. Pasta. All right, guys, this is basically a, a very nice class because you need to review what what you can eat or what you, you don't have to eat, all right? What you like and what you and what you dislike to eat, all right? So remember, we do have over here um, our food pyramid, all right? So in order to have a very nice... Um, in order, to, in order to have a healthy, a healthy, how do you call this? Help me, please. In order to have a, a healthy body, you need to have all this food, right? So, of course, you don't need to eat this in one day. So, usted no tiene que comer esto en un día, pero esto es como deberíamos de comer para estar balanceados, right? In order to have a balance, all right, in our health uh, bodies, okay? So, now, let's see. Let's go to our conversation. Then we we are going to double check the video. Okay, so give me one second. So let's re let's repeat. How about some sandwiches? How about some sandwiches? All right. Le thank you. Let me read it first, and then uh, we we are going to practice together. Okay. So Adam Adam and Amanda. All right. So Adam le pregunta, what do you want for this picnic? Amanda le contesta, hmm. How about some sandwiches? Okay, let's Adam. Have some chicken in the refrigerator 
but we don't have any bread. Amanda le contesta. And we don't have any cheese. Le dice Adam, do we have any drinks? Amanda le contesta, no. We need some. Uh, Adam le dice, all right, let's get some le uh, lemonade. Amanda le dice, and let's buy some potato salad. Adam le dice, sure, Every, everyone likes potato salad. Very good, okay? So now, Jaime and Blanca, be my guest. Go ahead. What do you want for the picnic? Um, how, I want some sandwiches. Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Cheese. Do we have, do we have any drink? No. We need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And um, let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Excellent, very good. Run applause for you guys. Very nice. Okay, let's repeat. Picnic. 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 Let's repeat refrigerator. 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 Drinks. Drinks. Lemonade. Lemonade. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, will Credo and Ingrid please be my guests? What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how, about, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese? Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. Mm -hmm. And let's buy, buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Excellent, round of applause for you. Very nice, very nice. Uh, let's see, uh, Jacqueline and Armando, be my guest, please. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Thank you very much. A round of applause for you. Uh, let's see. Give me one second. Let's see. Jenny and Anderson, please be my guests. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we don't. We need some. All right, let's get some lemonade and let's buy some potato salad. Sir, every every what likes potato salad. Thank you very much. Round of applause for you guys. Uh, very good. All right, so let's repeat. Everyone. 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 Likes Everyone. Potato salad. Likes, Likes potato, potato salad. Likes potato salad. Let's repeat refrigerator. Refrigerator. One more time. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Bread. Bread. Refrigerator. Very good. Uh, let's repeat lemonade. 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 And let's repeat uh, sandwiches. 
Sandwiches. Sandwiches. And drinks. Remember, guys, that when we have a, a verb and we and we identify a letter S at the end, try to mention or try to pronounce that particular letter. Cuando miremos un verbo que tiene una S al final, no solo me diga drink, porque si solo, si no, solo me está diciendo, do we have any drink? ¿Tenemos algún, a, algún trago? Y ahí le está diciendo, el, tenemos algo de tomar, algo de qué tomarnos, ¿verdad? Entonces, si usted mira la S, usted dice drinks, all right? Very good. Let's see, Jocelyn and Aníbal, please be my guest. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drink? No, we need some. All right. Let's Let's get some uh, lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Very so, good. Very I really good. don't like uh, potato salad. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much. Blanca and Elmer, be my guest, please. Ya pasé, teacher. Okay, Diana, <laughs> Diana, Diana, Stan Fermita, Cecia and Elmer, please. Uh, what do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have um, any cheese. Do you... Do we have any drinks? No, uh, we need uh, some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's uh, buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Thank you very much. Round of applause for you, Floricia and Jaime, please be my guests. What do you want for the picnic? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. We don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Um, Anna and let's see. Anna and Marisol de Los Angeles, please be my guest. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm. How about some sandwiches? Oh, we have some chicken in the refrigerator. But we don't have any bread. November. And we don't have any cheese. Uh, Do we have any drinks? Yeah. No. We need some. All right. Let's get some lemon. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. Excellent, excellent. Very good. All right. So, ¿quién no ha participado? Levántame la manita, por favor. Anybody? 
Aquí me levantó. Ok, María Wendy, please be my guest. ¿Quién más? Solo María. ¿Quién más no ha participado? Ok, María Wendy. Ok, let's go. Uh, what do you want for, for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken and the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Excellent, run applause for you. All right, Kenny, what do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Excellent. Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade and... And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Very good, excellent. Round of applause for everybody. Anybody else? Alguien que no haya participado, creo que a todos participaron, ¿verdad? Excellent. All right. Very good, very good, guys. You know, I want you to, you guys, practice and practice and practice. Uh, let's repeat. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. 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 Okay, fruit. Fruit. All right, let's see. Fruit. 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 No es fruit, no es, es, uh, acuérdese como que esté pronunciando la, la U. Fruit. Pero la I así, la, la I cerrada, ¿verdad? Así cerrada. Fruit. 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 All right, so así suavecita se mete en la I. Fruit. 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 All right, excellent. Let's see. All right, so, all right, let's repeat cake. 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 Pie. 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 Cookies. 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 Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. So we already, everybody knows, right, what is this, all right? So I believe todos identificamos que, que es lo que estamos practicando en este momento. See? O me equivoco, si no, todo es. Yes, right. Pie, acuérdense que es como una galletita de esas con miel. Cookies son galletitas así bien ricas. En el ice cream, right? El sorbetito que le llamamos, right? O la nieve, como dicen en México, ¿verdad? All right. All right. Y el fruit salad es la, la ensalada de frutas. Excellent. Okay, so let's, let's stop over here. Give me one second. Let me just play the video. The one that we have here. Let's see. Give me one second. Let's see. 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 Let's Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Very good. Okay. By the by the end of this class, you will learn what count and not count nouns are. Additionally, you will learn how to use the expression expressions some and any. All right. So let's see. But first, we are gonna double check this video. All right. So, but first, we're going to pass list. Okay. So give me one second. Let me stop the recurring. And let me pass this right now. Okay, let's see. One second, please. So, what's your number? Today is the the seventeen, right? Seventeen, August seventeen. Yes, teacher. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see. Adriana Madai Ramirez, Marroquin. She's not here. Uh, Ana Graciela Ramos Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. And Anderson Jeremy Molina Slaya. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Armando Antonio Albanes Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. 
Blanca Stephanie Vasquez Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Carlos Aníbal Martinez Ramos. I'm here. Thank you. Cecia Gemina Martinez Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Eh, Diana Patricia Carranza Paz. Present teacher. Thank you. Elmer Alexander Ruiz Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Elsie Gabriela Ramos Mahano. Elsie Gabriela Mahan. Elsie Gabriela Ramos Mahano. She's not here. Floricia Menjibar Vigil. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. uh, Ingrid Esmeralda Cornejo Osorio. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Isabel Araceli Beltrán Ayala. Isabel Araceli Beltrán Ayala. She's not here. Jacqueline Janet Guzman Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Iván Ventura Castro. I am here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Jocelyn Stephanie Bautista Zuniga. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Karina Jamilet Gonzalez Pineda. Here, teacher. Thank you. Um, Carla Joana Martinez Platero. Carla Joana Martinez Platero. Kenny Guadalupe Hernandez Godoy. Present. Thank you, Miss. Maria Wendy Guadalupe Rodriguez Cibrian. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Marisol de Los Angeles, uh, Marisol de Los Angeles Cortez Gonzalez. I'm sorry. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Maybelline Lisette Ramirez Martinez. Present. Thank you. Ronald Alexander Rodriguez Posada. Ronald Alexander Rodriguez Posada. Ronald Vladimir Comayagua Maya. Wilfredo Alberto Canacas Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. And Jenny Guadalupe Martinez Murcia. Present. Excellent. All right, so now let me just share this thing again with you guys. Give me one second. Can me escribe aquí? Okay. Elsie Ramos, present. Aníbal. Are you there, Aníbal? Okay. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Vamos con todo. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, today, we are going to double check another topic, all right, that we need to pay attention. Obviamente a todos hay que ponerles atención, pero hay unos que son más, uh, no difíciles, pero hay que ponerles más atención que los otros, all right? valga, valga la redundancia. Okay, ¿por qué razón? Because uh, it's the time that you need to identify when you are going to talk properly, when you are going to identify some nouns, some verbs in present, in past, or in future. Es momento donde usted va a empezar a identificar los nombres, los verbos, presente, pasado y futuro, apropiadamente. Okay? So, let's repeat. Some and any. Some and any. Some and any. Some and any. Okay. Count and not count. count. Nouns. Count. 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 All right. And how about some sandwiches? How about some sandwiches? Okay, very good. Okay, let's let's play the video and then we, we are going to have our conclusions, all right? So let's see. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How About Some Sandwiches, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. 
Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. No, we don't need. All right, guys, um, let me explain this a little bit deeper. All right, so déjame explicarles esto más a profundidad o para que lo entendamos de una mejor manera. My question for you now is, do you know when we say any and when we say some? Entienden cuando decimos any and some? Yes, no? No. Okay, si usted dice, como dijo el maestro, cuando decimos, do we need, do we need any eggs? Es cuando es negativo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si ustedes se fijan el... el el chart o el cuadro que estábamos practicando, a mí se me olvidó preguntarles que cómo se miraba la, la refrigeradora de, de los dos, de, los dos de, la, de la pareja que estaba hablando, ¿verdad? Entonces, se miraba empty, right? So, that means vacía. Entonces, así, empty. Lo voy a escribir acá. Empty. Empty, right? Vacía. Entonces, si, yo, si usted va a mencionar any 
es porque no tenemos ni nada. O sea, yo abro la refrigeradora de Armando y le digo, Armando, do we have any eggs? Pero yo le confirmo a él, ¿verdad? Preguntándole si tenemos, si tenemos hue huevitos para, para cenar. Porque yo abrí la refrigeradora y, y no vi nada. Pero yo estoy confirmando con Armando, do we have any eggs? Y viene sí, él y me sí, dice, como hay, masa, sí, como hay tres ahí escondidos, ¿verdad? Que los tiene ahí bien escondiditos para que no se lo, no lo vayan a quitar a él. Me dice, yes, teacher, let's get, no, me dice, yes, let's get some. Entonces, me dice, vamos a agarrar unos. Entonces, o si no, me dijo, no, we don't, we don't need any, we don't need any eggs. All right, so, entonces, acuérdese de que si usted va a mencionar some, es porque hay algo. Si va a mencionar any, es porque no hay nada. O sea, es ninguno y some es algo. Apúntelo. Any es ninguno. Si yo le digo, do we need any bread? Porque yo no miro ningún, este, ¿cómo se llama? Ok, yo no miro ningún, nada de pan. Para comernos los frijolitos y les digo, do we need any bread? Porque estoy así, ¿verdad? Yo ya tengo ya el plato de frijoles y ya quiero estar chuponeando el pan, ¿verdad? Entonces le digo, do we need any bread? Y viene, viene Wilfredo y me dice... Yes, uh, teacher, let's get some, porque no hay. Entonces, afirmativamente, ah. Wilfredo me dijo, yes, let's get some. No me dijo, yes, let's get any. ¿Verdad? Entonces, esa es la diferencia, ¿all right? Quiero que entiendan eso, que esa es la diferencia. Y este, esta parte de acá, permítanme. Que estamos escuchando el café, no sé de quién es. Bueno. Uh, donde dice count nouns and no count nouns esto sí pongamos la atención verdad pero es básicamente solo para que tengamos una idea de lo que estamos hablando de lo que estamos aprendiendo verdad por ejemplo los count nouns es an egg or eggs right o a sandwich o sandwiches son nombres contables los nombres no contables verdad Sería bread o lemonade. All right. So, y aquí nos de, nos, ya nos deja, nos deja de último. Nos dice specific. I am eating an egg. Estoy siendo específico, ¿verdad? Excuse me. Uh, let's get some bread. Let's get some bread. In general would be eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. Ok. Acuérdese. El any es cuando no hay nada. O sea, tal vez hay de, de, de 24 huevos, solo hay uno. Pero yo, de, yo de, 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 de salido le voy a decir a Marisol, ¿Do we need any eggs? Marisol, porque yo llegué con mi familia, ¿verdad? Y ella está con su familia. Pero yo solo le vi un, un huevito en su, en su refrigeradora. Y mi familión comemos como, como tigres. Entonces... Le digo yo a Marisol, do we need any eggs? Y viene Marisol, por no sentirse así mal conmigo, me dice, yes, teacher, let's get some. Sí, vamos a traer algo, vamos a traer, vamos a traer más huevos para que cocinemos, ¿ok? Y si no, me, si ella, o sea, por algún motivo me dice que no, me va a decir, no, we don't need any eggs. Entonces, ¿y qué vamos a comer? Le digo, what we gonna eat? I do have more eggs in the bag. Yo no me había dado cuenta que ya tenía otra refrigeradora en el otro cuarto y fue a sacar un cartón lleno de huevos. Entonces ella me dijo, para evitarnos salir, ella me dijo, no, we don't need any eggs. I do have more eggs in the back. Very good. Le digo, ok, comamos. Entonces ese es el, el, ¿cómo se llama? La diferencia entre cada una de la otra. Entonces, ahora bien, si usted puede para mañana, what I suggest you to do, Try to double check, like, as this teacher mentioned, right? He mentioned that you need to open your refrigerator, all right? And double check. Y agarra una lista y diga, oh, I need some eggs. I don't, y si usted, si usted se fija ahí, dice, I need some eggs porque no hay nada. Dice, I don't think I need any eggs porque tiene demasiado. O sea, quiero que, quiero que entienda esa parte, ¿verdad? Y empieza y saca su lista. Si quiere la digita y solo es para práctica, ¿ok? No me la mande, solamente es para que usted la tenga 
en práctica, all right? So if you want, if you want to send it, send it, pero así en PDF, acuérdese cómo trabajamos para que se mire bonito, all right? So I open my refrigerator and I do need some eggs. I don't think I need any mashed potato. I need some bread. I don't I don't need any uh ¿qué más? sandwiches. I need some cheese. Y así sucesivamente se va para, para abajo, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo voy a mandar a los break rooms y quiero que verifique lo que supuestamente íbamos a hacer ayer. ¿Qué fue? ¿Cuál fue la tarea que les dejé? Que les dije que si la hacían, la hacían y si no, no. Porque tienen mucho con la plataforma. ¿Cuál fue la tarea que les dejé? Que eran de, una, de unas oraciones. ¿Se acuerda que les dije que hicieran unas oraciones de de los nouns y de los uh, adjectives do you remember yes se acuerdan bueno lo voy a mandar y trate de la manera de decirle qué es lo que hizo o lo que no hizo a su compañero okay what you what you did or what you didn't uh, complete today I mean yesterday and today okay so let's see Give me one second. Okay, almost 21. One second. Okay, accept me la invitación, porfa. Wilfredo, Ingrid, acéptame la invitación. Cecia, please, acéptame la invitación. Cecia, Wilfredo. Y así hay problemas, Wilfredo, con, la, con el internet. Hello. What happened, Ronald? You didn't get connected with nobody? Eh, disculpe, teacher. Eh, que ahorita voy viniendo a mi casa y me estaba conectando. Ahorita todavía estaba la reunión. No ah, pude. Okay. No me preocupe, vamos a ver si lo paso para un... All right, every, everybody's getting back. All right, so just remember that every time that we talk about homework or assignment, Acuérdense que un homework y un assignment y una task es bien diferente, ¿verdad? O sea, no se me vaya a confundir. O sea, task es una cosa, task, assignment y homework. Homework. All right. Soy casi igual, pero no es igual, all right? So, si yo le digo, what task do we have today? ¿Qué tareas tenemos ahora? Usted viene y me dice, oh, tenemos que practicar, tenemos que ver, vernos en los breaker rooms, tenemos que ver si mandamos las tareas al WhatsApp group, si completamos la, la ¿cómo se llama? La plataforma. Esas son las tasks. Si yo le digo assignment, vamos a decir, este, si yo le dejé más de, un, más de una tarea, ¿verdad? Si yo le dejé, investigueme este, estos verbos, hágame unas oraciones acerca de los otros verbos en pasado, los otros verbos en futuro, hágame, eh, complétenme estas, 
eh, estos quizzes, esas son assignments porque se pasa de más de una tarea. Y homework es uno, ¿verdad? Por eso yo le digo, cuando yo, yo le diga, vamos a hacer un homework, trate la manera de tener un, lap, un, un lapicito o un, un lapicero, all right, with you, and try to write it down, the information, all right? So, and como le digo, si usted tiene tiempo, si usted quiere aprender rápido, va a agarrar por lo menos una hora de su tiempo libre. Por lo menos el break, el lunch, cuando esté trabajando, usted dice, no, ahorita me voy a poner a practicar. Quiero ver qué hago, quiero ver qué hago. Pero si en su lunch se va a dormir, pues ahí lo veo que se de, le van a salir canas como a mí, ¿verdad? Entonces, para querer aprender, pues con, sin, con todo el respeto, ¿verdad? No, 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 se me, no, me, no se me vaya a ofender. All right, so, porque les pregunto si completaron la, la, la tarea y me dijeron que no, pero está bien, yo los entiendo porque usted tiene que hacer solo la plataforma, ¿verdad? Ahora bien, did you complete the platform? ¿Completaron la plataforma todos? Yes, yes, yes. Very good, very good, very good. Very good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so, eh, okay, so, And now let's see, we do have a, a four more minutes. Let me one second, let me share some information here. Let's see. Okay, we were here. Let me close this part. All right, let's repeat knowledge check. Knowledge, knowledge check. check. Knowledge knowledge check. Knowledge. All right, so let's knowledge see. Check. Thank you, Ronald. Now that you just came in, uh, could you please help me with this? Ronald, read that for me, please. Instruction, complete the conversation with some or any. Come on, Ronald. Se me fue Ronald. Okay, Jocelyn, please be my guest. Help me. Instructions, complete the conversation with some or any. Excellent, very good, very good. Easy money, right? So, uh, okay, it says so here, Amanda, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Adam, well, we have lots of potato. Let's make what? Any or some? Some. Some, right? Oh. Okay. Amanda, okay, do we have uh, any mayonnaise or some mayonnaise? Any. 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 All right. Adam, no, we did. Uh, we need to buy some. 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 Amanda, we need to. Some. Uh, no, I'm sorry. We need any onions or we need some onions too? Some onions. Um. All right. Uh, Adam, oh, I don't, I don't want some or any onions. I any. hate onions. Any. Okay. Any. Amanda, then let's get let's get some or any celery. Some. some. All right. Adam, no, I don't want some any. or any. Any. Right. Any. any. Any celery in my potato any. salad. All right. And Adam, but let's put some <laughs> apples in it or any oh, apples God. in it. Some, right? Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Good. Yay. All right. So you did a good job, guys. All right. So once again, uh, congratulations for the ones that complete uh, your platform. For the ones that didn't complete it, I'm sorry, but I know that you're busy and probably that's the reason that you didn't complete it. Por lo que no la completaron, yo sé que pasan ocupados y por esa razón no la completaron, valga la redundancia. Pero igual, los animo a que no se rindan y acuérdense de el quote. Work hard, dream big, never give up. Let's repeat. Work hard, dream big, never give up. Work hard, hard big, hard, never, never, never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Nunca se me rinda. Nunca se me rinda. Okay, so, all right. So, I believe that this is it. I'm going to stop over here. I see you tomorrow and have a wonderful night. Rest of the night, okay? Rest very good, okay? Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night.
Happy doing. Likewise.